Hello and welcome to yet another Besiege tutorial. Before we begin, I would like to thank everyone for their support and kind words regarding these tutorials. It really means a lot to me and I'd kiss you all in the face if I could. Today I will be teaching you how to build a functioning walker. We will use two methods, one that uses only steering hinges with pistons and another that uses steering hinges, pistons and steering blocks. Keep in mind these walkers will be very simple because once you understand how they are built, you will be able to add as many legs as you want and it will work. First let's build a steering hinge walker. Make a base of three wood blocks on one side of the starting block and put a steering hinge on the other. Now add a wood block on both sides of the farthest wood block and of the hinge. Turn your camera around and add a double steering hinge under all of those four blocks that you just built. Add a piston under all of them as well. The rotations of the steering hinges are important, focus on the right back leg of the walker. Make sure that the upper hinge is going clockwise and the lower one counterclockwise. The left back leg needs to be the opposite rotations. The front left leg needs to be the same as the right back leg and the same thing with the front right leg. Meaning, whenever you build a walker, the rotations of the hinges need to be the same in a zigzag pattern. And if you have a set of 9 legs built like this, then you will notice that they need to be the same diagonally. You can change the keys from left and right to up and down. Change the piston keys to match the keys of the steering hinges, they also need to be the same in that zigzag pattern. Now focus on the front hinge that you built as a part of the base. This hinge serves to steer your walker left and right. When you add more legs and build a bigger base, this steering method gets a bit fucky, so you need to make sure to have enough legs so the turning can be effective. In case you didn't even know how to move your walker, you need to alternate between your forward and back keys. In my case, to start moving, I need to press up. And when the legs move up, then I need to press down. And then up again, as long as I want the walker to walk. The second method is using steering blocks and pistons. With this method, instead of adding wood blocks to the sides of your base, add steering blocks. Add pistons under them. The rotations of the steering blocks need to be the same as with the steering hinges. They need to match in a zigzag pattern. As for the pistons, same thing as before. Make sure the keys are identical to the steering block keys. Now you understand how to build a walker and you know how to steer it. Since the steering hinge on the base of your walker is relatively unstable when building bigger machines, there are additional two simple ways of making it go left and right. The first method would be to add a steering block in the middle of your walker. Then add enough blocks and pistons so when the pistons activate, they raise your entire walker in the air. Then using the steering block, turn it in whichever direction you want. The second method involves using flying blocks. You can put a flying block to each side of your walker and when you want to turn, activate the flying block to push you in the required direction. That would be all for the walker tutorial, I hope you learned how to build it. Feel free to give me suggestions for future tutorials and I'll see you next time.